Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Men Who Bullet. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to be recording again today. It's been a little bit. I have a new setup here that I'm going to try out, so bear with me as we get started. So the plan with me this week is going to focus on a spread I've been using that really utilizes the top of the page and then leaves the bottom of the page here open for notes. So it's pretty straightforward. Something that I've been doing recently is actually using post-it notes to kind of sketch out my ideas. So I'll just take them, you just fold them in half, and then I'm just going to show you real quick how we use them. So what I'm going to do is sketch out the idea that we're going to plan for this week. So what I'm doing is just kind of marking the center of my page here, so to say. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up six boxes across the top. And what we're going to do is two things. One, we're going to use this space here to track any events that are going on this week or any major task for the entire day that we want to focus on. And then I thought, you know what, let's also track something this week. So I'm going to track water. So as I'm just sketching this out, it's really super basic, right? And then we're going to have just the notes section down below. So for a page layout, this isn't the most extreme, but I think it's always good to kind of think about what you're going to do before you actually lay down and do it. So a little tip that I have been using for quite some time now is I actually write down my page grid layout in the front of my notebook so I can always remember. So in this art journal that I have now, it's 26 across, 38 down. And that 26 across is going to be the most important part here. So I've done the math ahead of time because I don't want to embarrass myself on camera. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to leave eight spaces for the boxes and then we're going to leave one space in between each of those. Now, because this is much more of a vertical page spread, we're going to go ahead and leave a few spaces at the top for a title. So whether this is the days of the week or the month, and then it really doesn't matter how long the page is here. But for me, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set it up with a good amount of space, about six squares down is what we're going to use here. And it's really important too, as you're leaving this space to leave at least one of those rows, because that's where we're going to track the water. And then we're going to go across eight and just make a little dash here. And then we'll start to lay out that grid according to the post-it note that we have there on the right hand side. Now, one of the reasons I like to use pencil is if you ever make a mistake as you're going through, it's super easy to fix that mistake. So I always recommend it. So what I do is I just kind of lightly sketch out what I'm going to do, and then we'll go ahead and just fill out the other side really quickly as we start to set that up. Now, before I lay down these lines, like I said, I just want to leave the space here because we're actually going to track water intake throughout the week, trying to be good about that hydration. So we'll go ahead and take a ruler and then we'll start to actually lay down some ink. So for this week, we're gonna use our Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens here. So I've got a medium size, we've got the 1.5, which is a bit thicker for the headline. And then we're gonna go with the blue one as well, just to add some color accent to the page. Now I'm using one of these Westcott clear rulers. I like them, they have a nice thin edge on the sides. And then also it's really fantastic because once you start laying down lines, especially in this case, you can see right through it. I've had so many mistakes made on my pages by not remembering where my lines were as I was laying them down. So this ruler has been really great. One thing I'm not showing here, but I did do is add just a small little detail at the top. All right, so now that we've got everything inked in, we're gonna go ahead and set up our days. So we're gonna do Monday through Friday, and then I'm gonna go ahead and split Saturday and Sunday, and we'll do the same thing for the water intake. Now laying down these lines, it can be a little tedious, and it's completely up to you if you wanna do them with a ruler, or you can just do them freehand if you want. So now we have six boxes, right? We're gonna have Monday through Friday, and then also Saturday, Sunday. And then I'm gonna take the 1.5 Pit Artist Pen here and just put in a title of the page. You can do this in any style that you like, whatever works for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our blue marker here, and we're just gonna put a dot in between each one of these boxes. It's kind of like setting up a task in your bullet journal, and we're just gonna X them out as we go along. Now for Saturday and Sunday, all I'm gonna do is just split those boxes out and then do the same detail across those. Now, while we still have our blue pen out, we're gonna go ahead and do the headlines for each of the days of the week. And I'm gonna do it in the same style that I did my header, which is something I've been trying out, just something new, using a larger first letter and then a smaller next letter and then alternating as we go through. That's a cool little detail style to it. And once we get to the Saturday and Sunday, I'm just gonna split out that box here. So just write each, just a shorter version of it so we know what's going on. 
Now the last little detail, like I said, we're going to use the whole bottom section of this page for rapid logging. So a real simple thing to do is I'm just going to write notes across the top, same style that I'm doing for the rest of the page just to keep it consistent. And then just using that blue pen again, just to put a small underline underneath of it. Again, just adding small details to the page to help tie everything together. Nothing crazy, super simple, just freehand, see what happens. My next little thing I'm gonna do here is just a small little detail under the boxes. So this is something you can do here. You can do this on any of your pages. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a gray marker or any color to be very honest. And I'm gonna use one of these brush pens that I have. You use the brushed end and all you do is you go around the outline of the box and you create a small little drop shadow. It seems so simple and it really is, but it adds such a really cool detail to the page that really helps it pop off. So if other people are checking it out while you're writing your bullet journal, it usually is the first thing that catches everybody's eyes. Like, whoa, that looks like that's popping off the page. So it's a really cool little detail to add. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish out both sides of this and you'll see what we have here, which is our completed week. So we have our Monday through Friday and then our Saturday, Sunday split. And then we have our whole section here for tracking our water intake. And then the rest is all a note section. So make sure to let me know in the comments below how this spread worked for you. I appreciate your time today and I'm glad to be back. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at menwhobullet and also at menwhobullet.com.